Yeah. Hello guys, um, first of all we'd like to introduce ourselves. I'm Andy. I'm Paj. I'm Nini. I'm Asap Sundar. Sundar. Together we came up with, uh, with an idea of people of Swala, Big Matter We are all uh, uh, qualified in our know, different fields. Uh, I, I majored in uh, economics. Uh, he's an IT guy, uh, he's an IT guy, she mentioned marketing. Uh, so together we, we came up with this idea of, of being a uh, big market today because we identified the gap or which need, needed to be filled in the marketplace. So what this business is actually is an online uh, retail shopping. Uh, actually it's kind of a virtual, a virtual shopping because people don't really have to, uh, to go to the actual shopping, we don't have buildings, we don't have something like establish, establish a, a premises where we do the business, people simply go to our website and they see products from different to uh, different supermarkets which are operating here in Ireland like Tesco, Lido, Adi, all those uh, uh, products are, are displayed on the, on the website and people uh, go straight on our website and make the shopping. Uh, the products, we make sure that they are show, they're shown in different categories. For example, if, if, if the customer is looking for toothpaste, just a, a simple example, uh, they will they will search on, on our website and the website is going to be able to show different toothpaste from different supermarkets around around Dublin and they can choose according to their price to, to, to the price if they are looking for something that's cheaper or they are looking for something that's uh, maybe a brand quality they are looking for a certain product, a certain brand they will be able to find it there and then um, the website will be able to also show the special offers which are uh, uh, available in different uh, supermarkets. So that, uh, that kind of saves time because, for example, in Tesco, they, they do have some kind of special offers, but you need to have the delivery of both the, the shop itself to see the, the special offers stuff. And for this website, we, we kind of simplified the whole process, uh, making them available for the, for the customers so that they can just come to the website and have a look at what's on special offer in different supermarkets around that bit. And again, presenting. Uh, for the opportunity of a big market that I uh, we like our actually our business is uh, filling the gaps in the markets. So like uh, the big market that I has no intense competition in this sector. Especially like uh, if there is a like a Tesco leader Aldi, they they have like also offer the online service as well. But it's uh, like we have the unique like it's very special unique selling point. Uh, like especially as uh, Andy mentioned about that, uh, like, uh, we have like uh, only Tesco uh, offered their own product in the market, the, in the shops. Like, but it's big market that I, we are like uh, uh, you can buy the, any product say, from the different shops in our website. Uh, and uh, so, like uh, research has shown that more customers are considering shopping online than traditional shopping. Like uh, we have like especially the staff, I the IT staff we have like well trained and then very like high skilled. So like we have confidence about the online transaction, and then so like all your information is very secured. Like like you can feel like very secured in any your like private like informations. And then like uh, nowadays like uh, all people like all like workers and students is very busy like. Even for me, like uh, after college, I have to go to work like straight. So sometimes I feel like oh, I want to go to shop, but after finishing work, like I can't, like because all shops is closed. So you can purchase the, any product like easily in your house. So like uh, you can just uh, one click in front of the computer. Yeah. And then like a competition like uh, of the like big market that I. Uh, competing with the other retail which sell online. So like as uh, Andy mentioned about uh, like especially like a very special unique selling point is uh, uh, you can compare the like uh, the prices in our website. So like uh, like for example the same product but this Tesco, Lidl, Aldi and uh, any like small the retail shops like uh, such as Centra or Spa can compare the whole price and then you can choose the like cheapest one whatever like and then also uh, like big market that I like offers the also like uh, yeah delivery like yeah so like so 
like when, so you can select the time for delivery. So like when you are not when you are not home, like so you can like select the like I want like a delivery in this time, and then we can deliver the time then, and then you can also check the like a, a, where is the delivery man? Is it there? Like a, is it like his GPS? You can say like all those things. To be a successful online shopping website, first of all, it should have a, a attractive user-friendly uh, interface. This will help to uh, keep customers to stay there and uh, excite their shopping interest. And next, um, can be a category menu and a search function. This will help the customer to find uh, what kind of products they want. And then uh, uh, detailed products information, which include images and the text description, both to show the products. And all the promotion news will be updated uh, timely. And the most important thing is a simple and a secure payment process. And this will help to improve the customer to trust in the site and the import customer satisfaction. And the other extended function, um, our website also can be presented in different language for different nationality people in, in, in Ireland. Also, uh, it can be easily and quick access, accessed on smartphone, uh, tablet, <coughs> PC, uh, for custom to check the promotion news and uh, shopping anytime, anywhere. For the registered customer, uh, there are also promotion newsletter will be sent regularly. Also, the website has a connection with social media like uh, Facebook, Twitter to promote uh, advertising campaign. Thank you, Nick. Uh, as you can see from the slides uh, over here, guys, uh, uh, our uh, organizing plan is really simple. Okay, uh, the, our organizing plan is really flat because uh, it's good. The communication for uh, for us to uh, <coughs> communicate from top to uh, bottom level of the staff is really handy. So, uh, uh, as an example, uh, the communication passes from general manager all the way to their supporting bodies and to the lower level of the staffs. So uh, as, as, the, uh, as the organized plan of our structure is really flat, uh, you, we can uh, uh, see there is really a technological field of uh, staffs uh, uh, over there so that they know what they are dealing with in their own field. Uh, uh, and. Uh, as you can see over here as well, uh, every uh, if uh, any supporting bodies of, uh, uh, for example, web design or uh, operating officers or accounting comes to on the way during the uh, during the process, then uh, the the information passes through the supporting bodies rather than uh, passing from a uh, different uh, group of the uh, different group of uh, uh, bodies over there. So it's quite handy. Uh, so when the communications uh, pass it from top to bottom and bottom to top, uh, so that's our uh, organizational structure plan. Uh, and as we are business, there's uh, obviously some errors and some problems regarding to it. Uh, when it comes to our uh, business plan, uh, big uh, market that I uh, to maintain uh, some legal issues, we have uh, contacted all the big uh, compete, uh, all of our big competitors regarding to contracts, which might arise because we have been using their uh, products, we have been uh, using their uh, all the uh, offers and all those uh, from different competitors in our website. So we have agreed to uh, agree with them with uh, under certain circumstances under the contract. Uh, basis so it helps us to show uh, all of our competitors products in our website uh, 
uh, as, a, as, a, as, as all the big competitors over here, like Tesco, Lidl, and all those, they are big companies uh, over here. So we saw their uh, products in our website. Uh, that's also a plus point for us that there will be any new entrants coming uh, towards us. So it's really helped us. So uh, as to move onwards, uh, uh, I'll pass it over to Andy for our final few fun. Yeah. So 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 far, that's the, the amount of uh, investment that we are looking for. We are willing to give out 20% of the business to an investor who can uh, slot in an amount of 50,000 you know, into our business. So far, we have achieved uh, 500 users. Uh, it seems like the business is really growing. For three months, we have achieved uh, 500 users, and that number is uh, going up each, each and every day. And we have projected that the sales figure is going to be like 70,000 euros a year. So far, we have shown uh, the business has shown the potential for growth, and we are uh, thinking that the business is either going to pick up and it's be it's going to be pro profitable for us and the investors as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Um, it certainly seems like a great idea. Um, a couple of, of, of I suppose, general questions to start off. Um, so, suppose, let's say I am a user on BigMarket.ie. Talk me through how, how this happens. So let's say I'm a user, I want super quince sausages and brown bread, I want little vegetables, and I want my milk from Tesco. So can I do that for Big Market Body? Yeah, actually, that's, that's the kind of a unique selling point that we have. If you are looking for different things from different supermarkets, that's what we're doing. Okay. We are combining all those things from different supermarkets and then offer them to the customer. So what you're going to do is you log into the account, do a selection, pay, and so set your uh, delivery time with the, uh, the amount of time, uh, what time you want to receive your delivery, and then sit back at home, relax, wait for the delivery man to come to your house and give you a list. Okay, so I click on all that, and then you guys, well, collect the stuff, collate it all, and send it out to me. Yeah, and especially we have the, like, the small storage, the storage, so like a like warehouse, small warehouse, so like, a, for example, kind of like a, you know, potato things, especially in Ireland. And the special open things we want to keep them in the stores, <coughs> and then like when customer order because we purchase like in advance, and you know, we keep the store and then we deliver to customers. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I suppose just on that uh, same point, how do you make money then? We make money from the delivery charge, and on our website we have uh, another uh, section where we are putting uh, ads for different uh, uh, different uh, uh, companies. Actually, we, we uh, because it's an online uh, business, we're focusing much on driving traffic on the website. So, uh, the more traffic we have, uh, the more uh, companies who are willing to put their ads on there to expose it, their ads to diff uh, a huge audience. Okay. Um, and then, how much is the delivery charge? The delivery charge is, is not fixed. Actually, it's depending on the size of the package that the the buyer has, has, has ordered from the website. The higher the, the package, uh, the, the higher the charge. Okay. There won't be two owners on the customer, I guess. No? Like, it won't be huge. Will it, like, if I'm a customer and I get a 40 euros shopping basket of various goods, you know, delivery charge won't be 20 euros, I guess, like that. It should be relatively small relations. Yeah, yeah. Okay, exactly. Um, and then, um, okay, I'll start on, I'll have a few more to um, follow up. Yep. <coughs> Thanks guys. I, I have a difficulty with this. Um, I think it's a great idea. I think it's unique. Um, I think certainly in this, in the current environment we're living in, the consumer is, uh, is very much driven by Groupon.ie, RewardingTimes.ie, Deals. I think there's a website called Deals.ie which, which is, does similar stuff. But no one has gone into the, the grocery shopping deals uh, space, which so obviously you see the gap in the market there, it's quite innovative. But I, I just have a difficulty, I just can't get, get my head around how you're going to charge the customer and make money. So I've got two questions for you. Um, um, I, I, I'm sorry, uh, my, third, my third problem is I see your operating costs as being very high. Because as Joe says, you're going to ask 
as a customer, I, I want I want this these two promotions from Legal, these two promotions from Tesco's, and these two promotions from Super Value. So your people have to physically go to those three shops, buy those products, uh, collate them, and then deliver them. I see there's a high, I see that as a high operation cost. And I'm wondering how you're going to deal with that. Secondly. Uh, I do accept that your uh, selling space and your website for promotional companies is going to be a key revenue driver, but it's only going to be a key revenue driver if your website's a success. Yeah, so far it has shown success. Like for three months we have over 500 users and that number is more stable, still going up. And yeah, we, we, are, we are really hoping that this number is going to increase, like the demand also for people to put on their, their ads on the website. Uh, we're going to use the same model for Google, where we, they charge you a price per click.